chronic kidney disease afflicts up to 7 to 10 percent of the world population. Diabetes and hypertension are the commonest causes of chronic kidney disease. The impact of long term ingestion of analgesics on the incidence of chronic kidney disease has not been well documented in recent literature and hence this review. One of the dreaded complications of long term analgesic intake is nephrotoxicity characterized by chronic interstitial nephritis and papillary necrosis. Much of the literature of its epidemiology dates back to 1960s when in many countries mixtures containing phenacetine, aspirin and caffeine were commonly dispensed as over-the-counter pills for producing analgesia. The incidence of analgesic nephropathy has virtually disappeared in countries where these mixtures of analgesic tablets are banned. Among the three components of the analgesics, the aspirin, phenacetine and caffeine, it is the phenacetine component which has been much studied for its nephrotoxic potential. Phenacetine gets converted to acetaminophen and the concentration of acetaminophen increases manifold at the tip of the papilla of the kidneys due to the counter current mechanism of concentration of glomerular filtrate. Acetaminophen is a potent oxidant producing cell injury due to lipid peroxidation. Aspirin is co-ingested with phenacetine. It has been shown that there is a rapid depletion of this antioxidant S-glutathione interrenally which enhances the nephrotoxic potential of phenacetine and its components. The CT scan in those patients who are suffering from analgesic nephropathy reveals a characteristic picture of contracted kidneys with irregular cortical scars, papillary calcifications. A biopsy of the kidneys reveals interstitial fibrosis. The exact dose and duration of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug ingestion before nephrotoxic potential becomes manifest is not very clear but it has been proposed that long term ingestion of 6 to 8 tablets per day of analgesics for more than 5 years enhances the nephrotoxic potential. So, in conclusion, analgesic nephropathy is an uncommon cause of progressive renal disease but it should be excluded in every patient with chronic kidney disease who presents to the clinic. Thank you.